I'm Kay and I am back with another 31 days of cut file fun and I am going to be using this alpha set. It is the thicker alpha set called Sketchbook. I absolutely love this alpha set. Wish I would have picked up two when I had the chance, but I made my title here Lemon Bar Yum <laughs> instead of Lemon Bar Fun. Um, I A little play on words. I also have some scratch paper from the Lemon Twist, Simple Stories Lemon Twist Um uh, basics I think is what it's called and then um, this little baggie is from Scrapping Reflections and those cute little clouds are from Scrapping Reflections but the leaves inside that I added from another project are actually from some assemblage required and that is what I will be using on this layout today along with these adorable little lemons that are from the Not Just For Boys Kit Club. They came in a kit a while back. I also have some decorative bat brads by Simple Stories Lemon Twist. I absolutely love those and I just acquired them to be honest. <laughs> so I'm super happy I got those. I have a little Kaiser craft tag here and then I have my lemon bars, mm, yum. And then that is the last and final cut file for the month of August. Here is the paper that I'm going to be playing with today. It is the, uh, I don't know, gingham, I think is what it's called. Distressed gingham is what I really like about this collection the most. Uh, from Reminisce, I have In the Kitchen stickers. I don't believe I actually got this collection, but I do have the sticker sheet, and I don't remember having the collection. If not, I definitely went through it uber fast. So for my wood grain today, I have this piece here that is from a Park Lane uh, paper pad. I do not remember exactly the Park Lane paper pad, but that is what I'm going to do, uh, be using as my background. Now, because I forgot to cut off the half inch that, um, <laughs> that is added on for the little label tag holder dealio, um, my, I accidentally cut my trimmer wonky. And so I have to cover up my cut edge there down in the bottom right corner. So I'm going to rip this gingham page, which is what I planned on doing in the first place. So it's not like I had to change my design or anything like that. So I'm going to put this in the bottom right hand corner going across the bottom of my page. I'm going to distress it just a little bit because cooking is always messy. Uh, well, at least it is in my house. <laughs> um, so anyways, I am also going to be ripping another piece later. I just wanted to cover up that corner before I twisted and turned this wood grain and forgot. So I'm going to cut my my photo down to uh, four by four. These are just some lemon bars that I tried a recipe on. I found one um, that is slightly different than my mother's recipe. And so I wanted to give it a try. And because my photo is pretty dark as it is, I am putting a yellow uh, photo mat down and then I'll be putting that black photo mat down later, later to make it look large. There it is. And I'm not even gonna bother trimming it down, which I should have, but I'm not going to. So I'm gonna find out how my uh, cut file is going to fit on the page, but first I'm going to color it with this close to my heart black shimmer pin. It's gonna have a little bit of sparkle, but not too much. I really like this black shimmer from um, close to my heart more than the Wink Estella that I have on the right. The Wink Estella actually has gold glitter in it, where close to my heart has a clear shimmer. So it's a black shimmer rather than a, a gold or a silver or some other kind of color um, to take away from the black. So this is my this is my favorite black, black shimmer pin. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just really quickly color this up. I am using a glass mat so I can uh, clean it all up easy, easy, uh, no big deal. I'm just gonna spritz some water on top of it and wipe it down with uh, my messy rag. That is how I plan on cleaning this. I don't know if I left that in there for you guys or not, um, but I did leave this part in just so that way you could see that I twist and turn it because when you cut an image like this in the machine, you have to put a brush up next to both edges, so both sides of the cut, because of that little tiny pin hair of a lip that is left from your cutting blade. I don't know what it's really called or anything like that, but I do know that when I color, oh my goodness, excuse me. 
when I do color my images, um, I have to twist and turn them a lot to get to get full coverage. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pick out what I the sticker I wanted from my sticker sheet, a couple lemon representations from my Brad pack. That is one of the reasons why I actually purchased this is because of that large Brad there that is just a slice of lemon. I love that. Okay. Here's where I decided I needed a little bit more of the gingham up in the upper right hand corner. So I just ripped off uh, a little bit more. And then I have this leftover black piece that was from cutting my first yellow photo mat. So I'm going to go ahead and distress that and have it sticking out slightly. And then I decided to, you know, instead of keeping this piece or throwing it away, I'm going to tuck it down at the bottom as well. It's just to give it a little bit more interest um, down at the bottom. So I have a few more layers. Um, this is going to be a two-tone layout. I absolutely love this lem this yellow and black together. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut up my um, cut file so that way it, I have more coverage uh, around my photo as opposed to under my photo. When I do a cut file, a lot of effort really goes into creating it. So if somebody made it, then you have to turn around and cut it and weed it out of the photo mat if you you know have a really sticky mat, um, things like that. So I don't like covering up a lot of my a lot of my cut files, but I don't mind covering. A portion of it up. I just don't want to cover up half of it, especially when it is eight eight inches um, wide. And then, of course, I'm working on an eight and a half by eight and a half page. So I would have covered up most of it. So this way, I can have all of my all of my photo mats. Oh my gosh! I'm so sorry. All of my uh, photo strips being seen and and presented on the page. Now, what does the photo strips have to do with lemon bars? I thought about actually doing a title that was more like um, picture perfect or you know the best looking something to do with photography um, as as uh, you know because this this baked up beautifully. You know, I couldn't do this twice if I tried. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to play on words. However, um, I really liked the, um, the, the title that I came up with, the Lemon Bar Yum title. And so it, does, it has absolutely nothing to do with my original thought process with the film strips and stuff. So I just, I just went with it. I was like, oh, it looks great on the, on the background and, and as a background. And I mean, yeah, it looks great. All right, so I'm going to add some linen twine. This is my favorite is twine in the whole wide world, you guys. I just, it's actually called linen thread. It is from Stampin' Up. It is amazing. I really, really like it. It goes with any and almost every layout out there. Outdoorsy layouts, comfy home layouts, little kid layouts. I mean, it just goes with everything. And truth be told, all the other twine that I have in my stash, this is the one that, that has a actual home on my desk because it just goes with everything. I, I don't, I don't even have to change the color of it. It's perfect. Um, so I'm just covering up, uh, adding the, the twine to my tag. And then I went ahead and trimmed off all of the bits and pieces on my, um, from my film strips and the hangy bits, the, you know, the hang off the page bits. And I took that piece that I cut off the edge cause waste not want not. And I added it down to the bottom where I felt like was missing a film strip. So now, could I have done one of us going to the movies or, you know, a photo shoot or something? Yes, 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 I could have. But I really just wanted to do the, the lemon bars. And like I said, my first title would have tied in to the film strips or the photo strips or whatever they're called. Uh, it would have tied that in. But then I, I don't know. I just went with the lemon bar one. So, yeah, it it is what it is. Sometimes things don't have to make any sense. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish it off. I put my tag up there, that little uh, chipboard piece that came on my uh, brad set, which uh, they're not brads, to be honest. They're faux brads, so they look like brads, but they don't have the prongs on the back, so I don't have to poke a hole or anything. I just stick them straight to my layout, and voila, they are brad looking. It's amazing. I, I actually really like it. Okay, so I'm going to add my half of a lemon wedge and then, of course, a couple little leaves. And I have two more leaves that I would like to add to the layout just to add a little bit more green because that, that chipboard piece has, gr has green leaves in it um, with their potato wedges. So I thought, oh, a potato. No, they're not potato wedges. They're lemon wedges. <laughs> Potatoes. Um, so anyways, I wanted to add a little bit more green to the layout. 
instead of just trying to figure out how to, um, you know, make that chipboard piece fit in with just a little bit of green. So I went ahead and I just stuck them right here next to this little tag. I felt like that that was a perfect spot for them. The words moved perfectly for them to flow into. It was perfect. And then I have two little faux brads that look like lemon wedgies. So that's what I'm going to be. It, they're not wedgies. I am so sorry, you guys. That was a slip of the tongue. I apologize. So they look like lemon wedges. And so I went ahead and added those because of course, when else am I going to do a layout about lemons? Just makes sense to me. And that is the rest of my layout. Added two more black little uh, faux brads um, just to bring a, a little bit of black on top of the yellow. And I am done. I love this little layout. It is just the cutest little thing ever. I'm sorry. I, I'm not allowed to, am I allowed to say that I love something that I made? Is, is it okay? Is it kosher? I don't know the answer to that. Um, I know that I've asked that question before, but you know, I just don't, I just don't know. All right. Thank you guys so very much for hanging out with me all month long. I really, truly appreciated this. I had so much fun with every single one of you. I really appreciated everyone hopping on that hashtag bad wagon. I absolutely loved everyone getting a contact with me, trying to add their uh, layouts to the playlist. It was it was a blast. It was so much fun. And the Facebook group, the Facebook group definitely built itself up. It, it's just, every, you guys all made that happen. Every single one of you guys. It is just so much fun. Uh, anyways, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I cannot appreciate it. And I can't wait for next year. Seriously. It's going to be so much fun. All right. Thank you so much and I'll check y'all later. Bye.